Superior lecture incoming. As you're better, I'm going to go ahead and explain what went wrong here. So the off-duty officer, what cuts out at the video because TikTok is weak, inferior, and basically a bitch, is the Jeep drives back toward the off-duty officer and successfully hits his, gets his legs. The officer fired and missed the driver. Um, one of the things the off-duty officer should have done was gotten to cover because the gentleman in the Jeep had already attempted to run him over with the Jeep one time and attempted to follow him into his house until he realized there was a weapon that was about to be used on him and he ran back to his Jeep like the little girl that he was. Um, had he used his parked patrol vehicle or the tree as cover, because you got to understand, you're not just defending yourself against harsh words. You're now defending yourself against a large piece of metal with an engine propelling it at a high rate of speed towards you. And that big box of metal is going to be uh, more dense than your physical body. So uh, shooting before they actually get momentum back towards you, because even if you had hit the driver you would still have a vehicle free rolling towards you. It might not be able to steer towards you once you got out of the way, but a lot more sideways movement and the use of solid cover that can stop a moving vehicle is what the rest of you need to take into consideration if you ever find yourself in this situation. Also, have your weapon on you at all times because you might not have an unarmed dude in a jeep which by the way the jeep makes him armed uh which is why he is allowed to be shot in the face don't argue with me about that or i will choke the shit out of you and you will not wake up ever again because that's how i do things if uh because what if that man had jumped out of the jeep with a weapon and was a bit more determined and maybe premeditated in his effort to murder an off-duty police officer well, then what you get is a man shot in the back running into his house. And then the kids and wife get to come home and find their dead father, husband, whatever he is, laying on the ground because you didn't want to bear the responsibility of keeping your weapon on you at all times. <laughs>